Secrecy was so tight that all seven primary participants were cautioned to use only first names to prevent servants from learning their identities. Years later, one participant, Frank Vanderlip, president of National City Bank of New York and a representative of the Rockefeller family, confirmed the Jekyll Island trip in a February 9, 1935 edition of the Saturday Evening Post. The participants came here to figure out how to solve their major problem, how to bring back a privately owned central bank. All the participants knew that these problems could be hammered out into a workable solution. But perhaps their biggest problem was a public relations problem, the name of the new bank. That discussion took place right here in this room, one of the many conference rooms in this sprawling hotel, today known as the Jekyll Island Club Hotel. Aldrich believed that the word bank should not even appear in the name. Warburg wanted to call the legislation the National Reserve Bill or the Federal Reserve Bill. The idea here was to give the impression that the purpose of the new central bank was to stop bank runs, but also to conceal its monopoly character. After nine days at Jekyll Island, the group dispersed. The new central bank would be very similar to the old bank of the United States. It would be given a monopoly over U.S. currency and create that money out of nothing. Like the pharaohs of ancient Egypt who built their empire with the help of a grand vizier, Queen Elizabeth II also has a grand vizier, serves as her most trusted advisor. His name is Lord Evelyn Rothschild, and he is the second wealthiest and most powerful person on earth. He is also lord of the world's financial capital, the city-state of London. Lord Rothschild and his ring of power hide their identities behind 13 city council members who stand in as their representatives. On November 30, 2000, Lord Rothschild, now in his 70s, got married in London to a wealthy Zionist businesswoman named Lynn Forrester. The couple then jetted to Washington and spent their wedding night in the White House. Just how rich and powerful is Lord Evelyn Rothschild? Historically, the Rothschild family wealth was hidden in underground vaults. The Rothschild secret financial records were never audited and never accounted for. Their family commissioned biographies give the illusion that their family fortune has dwindled, but researchers estimate their wealth at close to $500 trillion, more than half the wealth of the entire world. Besides their many castles, palace mansions, wineries, racehorses, and exotic resorts, the Rothschilds bought Reuters in the 1800s. Reuters then bought the Associated Press, which selects and delivers the same news stories to the entire world, day after day. They have controlling interest in three major television networks and easily avoid media attention since they own it. Until recently, they owned and operated England's Royal Mint and continued to be the gold agent for the Bank of England, which they also direct. They control the LBMA, London Bullion Market Association, where 30 to 42 million ounces of gold worth over $11 billion are traded daily. The Rothschilds earn millions weekly just on transaction fees alone. They also fix the world price of gold on a daily basis and profit from its ups and downs. Over the centuries, the Rothschilds have amassed trillions of dollars worth of gold bullion in their subterranean vaults and have cornered the world's gold supply. They own controlling interest in the world's largest oil company, Royal Dutch Shell. They operate phony charities and offshore banking services where the wealth of the black nobility and the Vatican is hidden in secret accounts at Rothschild's Swiss banks, trusts, and holding companies. How did Evelyn Rothschild become the filthy rich grand vizier to Queen Elizabeth II and godfather of the black nobility? By birth, Evelyn Rothschild is the great-great-great-grandson of Mayor Rothschild and is passing the godfathership down to David de Rothschild. Although Evelyn Rothschild looks like a harmless gray-haired old man, make no mistake about it, 
Rothschild and his ancestors have handpicked presidents, crashed stock markets, bankrupted nations, orchestrated wars, and sponsored the mass murder and impoverishment of millions. The wealth hoarded by this one family alone could feed, clothe, and shelter every human being on earth. 